Before we get some fitness tips from Old Town Fitness, I thought we should talk about something that we all probably enjoy, and that's a good glass of wine. Now, there are so many wine bars here in the Keys and Key West, but where are the best places to go? To answer that question, I needed to bring in an expert. Steve, thank you for being with me on the show this My morning. My pleasure, Jenna. All right, Steve, how long have you been into wine? Pretty much uh, since college. I got started just sort of working at a liquor store that had a fine wine section. Mm -hmm. And the owner really loved his wine and got me involved and got me involved in Les Amis du Vin, which is a wine club. And then he was teaching Wine Appreciation 101 at Arizona State. and. Uh, he then, they wanted him to do a second level course, and so he had me do the first level course, and it's just been going on since then. It's been going on ever since then, and you yeah. write about it, Steve. Mm -hmm. You have weekly columns. Mm -hmm. You have a weekly column in Conk Life here right. in the Keys. And what all is in your columns? It's pretty much just instructional, telling, talking about certain aspects of wine, uh, and doing it in a sense that every person can enjoy, hopefully, mm -hmm. and uh, just get, get to learn a little bit more without going through all the highfalutin stuff that most wine writers do. Okay. Well, let's talk about some of the best wine bars here in Key West in particular. I'm sure you've been to all of them, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I live in a few of them. You've been to, okay, <laughs> a few of them. So you definitely have your favorites. Yeah. Tell our viewers about some of the best ones and why they're the best. Okay. Well, my favorite is one called Grand Vin, which is actually the oldest. It actually opened up the year that I first came to Key West, 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that, there were no wine bars here. And we now have, I think, close to 10. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but it's got definitely the best selection as far as premium bottles. And uh, it's got a gorgeous little porch that you can just sit out and watch the little parade go by on Duval every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the atmosphere adds to it as well. Very much so. We call it the clubhouse. Okay, the clubhouse. <laughs> I like that. All right, choice number two. Uh, probably, let's we'll sort of go down Duval Street from Lower Duval to Upper Duval. Mm -hmm. Are you doing the crawl, Steve? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, there's the porch on Caroline and Duval, mm -hmm. which Chris, the owner, doesn't like to call it a wine bar, but he's got over 10 wines by the glass, and they're all very high quality wines. And they're delicious. Mm -hmm. And again, he's got a lovely little atmosphere there. And then down a little bit further, there's Vino's on Duval, which again has a very nice selection. And uh, they have one of their special little things is they have a Cruvenet system, which is a wine dispensing system that doesn't allow air into the bottles. So they can take some of the more expensive bottles that won't go quite as fast as the other ones, mm -hmm. and they can pour those by the glass, which is a really nice function feature of theirs. And they're also, they have a nice little porch looking out on Duval, and sort of a recurring theme here. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then if we go down a bit further, uh, let me think. There is then uh, the Lush Bar, mm -hmm. which is inside the Green Pineapple, which is a little clothing slash knickknack store which specializes in sustainable and renewable type of things. And so they use that same theme in the Lush Bar, which is inside there. It's a tiny little bar that also sells chocolate and all kinds of interesting little things. But they focus on organic wines and wines that were grown by sustainable growers and that type of thing. And uh, then next is a little place called Cork and Stogie, mm -hmm. which combines two of my favorite things, wine and cigars. Mm -hmm. um, again, there, right on Duval Street, have a gorgeous little porch that you can just sit on and smoke a cigar while you're uh, enjoying your wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're kind of interesting also in that they don't really have a specific set of wines by the glass. It's pretty much, if there's something you want that they have in the shop and you want to taste it by the glass, they'll pop open a bottle. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So they're very accommodating there. Yeah. And it sounds like there's just such a good selection then here in the Keys, right? Oh, it is. It's incredible. I mean, considering this town is, what, 24,000 people? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
and we've got uh, almost 10 wine bars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's crazy. That is a little <laughs> crazy, isn't it? We All tend right. to drink a lot. <laughs> All right, Steve. Well, if people want more information on Steve, and if you want to get on Steve's email list, he'll tell you where you can go for the best wine, what, what specials might be going on at the time. You can contact him by emailing the address that you see on the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. Steve, thank you so much for being with us this morning. My and pleasure. Sharing thank this. you for having me, Jenna. All right. I'm going to be right back after these messages with Old Town Fitness. Please stay with me.